Hi friends, in the previous video we went through the basics of Vagrant as an automation tool to save hours or even days work. In this video we'll continue with the configuration of Vagrant Box by editing the Vagrant file to change the VM resources like CPU or memory. The Vagrant file is where we can manage different settings and it's read when you run your box for the first time. After opening your Vagrant file you'll notice that many lines are commented. Some of the commented lines can be changed to apply as configuration. In order to see your current VM settings, make sure the VM is running by entering Vagrant up. Connect to the box with Vagrant SSH and then enter vm stat space dash s. This will show some VM information like the amount of memory that is assigned. In order to see the allocated CPU information, enter ls cpu. Now let's change these settings. Open your vagrant file and uncomment the following lines. If you prefer more or less memory, you can change it here. To change the amount of CPUs, you'll need to add a new line. Enter vb.cpus equal to 2. Now you'll need to reboot your VM by first exiting from the SSH terminal and then entering Vagrant Reload. After reboot, you can look up the new VM settings with VM stat space dash s or ls cpu. Take a look at other commented lines and if you want, you can clear the comments out to make the file more minimalistic. If you're interested in what else you can add or change in the Vagrant file, you can read through the following page. There is also a handy cheat sheet which I've added in the description. Hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to leave your feedback in the comments and I'll see you in the next video.